Chino HD Training. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is the 29th of August and we are at JD Gyms Hunts Cross. And why am I here? Because I've got multi-gym access, so I like to use all the gyms I can in my vicinity and we've got three. And right now we're here to do a sweat session. So I'm utilizing the studio as my own little personal gym and we're gonna utilize the ski egg, wall balls and biceps. So let's jump into it. Hi guys, so workout done and pretty much did uh, 10 calories on the ski egg times five. So I go to 50 calories and in between, I usually do what you saw, uh, dumbbell bicep curls, but my back felt really good today. And I thought to myself, do you know what? It, originally the workout was meant to be like a high rocks type style imitation crossfit style imitation where i do wobbles but when i try doing wobbles my back blew up in the first like two reps but today like i said my back's been feeling slightly better and i was able to do the 10 cal ski egg with 10 wobbles probably eight feet if you can see see that white mark there that's about 8.9 feet how do i know i measured it but yeah i was hitting the six kg ball to that white mark so um nine foot is a bit slightly further up 10 feet is even further up but yeah from the floor to that line that goes across that's about 8.9 feet so pretty much nine feet but yeah so i did five rounds 10 cal ski egg 10 um war balls until i got to fifth round two minutes rest and then i started again so you do a repeat again but like the second time round, i got to about two three wall balls i could feel my lower back and i thought back's been okay so far i don't really want to um really put it into a bind so i went back into doing the bicep curls and yeah really good all in all it took me 20 minutes and about nearly 400 calories burnt which is great up with the calories right there so you'll see um but yeah really good really consistent i feel great and for the bank holiday weekend or bank holiday monday it was just something different where i could just really expand and try something new so really happy with that and yeah on to the rest of the workout because we ain't done um, gonna do some cardio to finish off which is going to be a cool down so the rest of the workout is going to be like 20 minutes on the treadmill and we will be out of here Okay guys, so that is 30 minutes of cardio done. I burnt about the same amount of calories doing the treadmill than I did do when I did my circuit. So off to use a sauna in this gym and then shower and then go home. So post-workout subway, going to eat this and enjoy. I mean, I'll take my time eating this because the girl filled it, which is decent because it's like 2006 Subway fillings where they actually gave you proper portion sizes. Not where they just like sprinkle some like bits on it. So I have roast chicken with peppers, spinach, sweet corn and olives. I have thrown in my own barbecue sauce. So just a cheap thing from Sainsbury's. And I've also added this sriracha chili mayo. 
because I, I usually get barbecue sauce with Southwest sauce on it as well. So this is just the same, but lighter on the macros. Subway done, and we are on our way to Costco. And we're on our way to Costco because we need bottles of water. Uh, on the way there, we nearly got ran off the road by this guy in front. And I also saw this car with the license plate run that I thought was interesting. Anyway, we are heading towards Warrington because there is a Costco in Haydock that I had no idea ever existed. And our mission is to get bottles of water because the Costco in town is sold out and has been for weeks. So first experience in Costco, let's see what we get. So you can see we've got our water, got a bit extra, and now time to go. So guys, last meal being had now, we've got turkey burgers in the George Foreman right now. We're going to have these as the home meal. Rose gonna have two for the two burgers. And then snacks to end off my day. Just prop popcorn, party rings, and I've got in. You can see I love peanut butter, but I've got in uh, 35 grams of peanut butter straight from the spoon, which will round off my macros for today, training day macros, so my calories are slightly higher than non-training day. But yeah, I think uh, I'm going to enjoy this and catch you guys next time. So what's going on, guys? Good morning. Welcome back to Tuna HD Training. Today is the 3rd of September. And you know what? We have officially lost £30.30. So what better way than to celebrate than to go to the gym? So I'll be training with uh, two familiar faces if you've been consistent with the channel, Ibby and Ian. So enough talking, let's go to the gym. Searching, pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me. Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety. I need my space, I need my privacy, I need some silence. Please, you're all too loud, you don't speak quietly. Opinions violently thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous. It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning. That we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in We got some work, man So how's the training going so far? So good. <laughs> what's uh, what's what's next on the uh, on the training cards? Oh, I really enjoy training with Shiro today. He's helped me reach my goals a lot. Uh, thank you again. <laughs> I'll fool you and take like testimonials. No. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, it's alright. What what are we doing now? That's what I'm asking. GVT. GVT. Life is a nuisance, types nuisance. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution. 
A place like this, it didn't exist for me like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life is So what better way to end or to actually have the um, day of being 30 pounds lighter than to have a massive chest session so that was really good felt really pumped I haven't really touched weights in a long time mainly because I've been trying to focus on mobility and rehab so this was actually the first weightlifting session I've had in a long time and yeah I'm going to be really sore tomorrow uh, <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to it but not looking forward to it because my chest is going to be destroyed but yeah went heavy went good hit 140 for two reps just about and bear in mind I haven't done upper body work in absolute months so the idea of hitting 140 which used to be a max many moons ago was good especially when I hit 165 and I was a lot heavier so that plays a part anyway home time okay people safe to say this morning was a warm-up went back home and um, it's about hot the uh, quarter past ten went to the gym for about half eight till about half nine and um, yeah meant to be going for breakfast earlier or well, meant to be going for breakfast later but I'm too early for breakfast so uh, going to uh, JD Belvale to do some cardio I, I would have done some cardio in Edge Lane but I forgot my phone and forgot my headphones so went back home got both and now we are back to do some cardio so cardio will consist of my mobility session so this is going to be stints of backwards walking five minutes backwards walking with a mix of kettle bell swings and kettle bell goblet squats which you've seen on a previous episode so you know the score so at this moment in time right now jd jim belvale we just do again straight five minutes if we can utilize the sled and if it's not occupied we use the sled if it's occupied we use the static runner so that's what we're doing right now five minutes backwards walking after that's done we get the kettlebells i'm using a 16 kg kettlebell here i've increased the kettlebell actually i, I was on 12 kg but my strength and my endurance is going up which is good so from the swings we do the goblet squats and you can see in terms of my depth is getting better in my opinion really better but yeah halfway through Let's see what I'm saying about it. Okay guys, halfway through. It's kicking my ass. I don't think uh, doing upper body in the morning really was a good idea for like this type of exercise. But we don't moan, we just get through. So catch you guys at the end. Okay guys, we are done. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am completely drenched. This is a white top, it's gone clear, see-through. Anyway, that took us about 30 minutes, which is a minute improvement from the last time I did this mobility test. When I say mobility test, it's a mobility session. Let me pull this up. Sorry. <laughs> it's a mobility session where I just focus on like knees over toes, stuff whereby I do the backwards walking. Sorry. I do the backwards walking and then I'll do the kettlebells, uh, swings and goblet squats. So uh, right now we're done. Let's finish off with 20 minutes cardio on the bike just to flesh out the blood that's pooling in the legs. And then we've got a special guest, James J. Fit, who is with a friend called Scott, and he's actually taking them through a high rock simulation style workout, which I don't know how he roped them into it, but we're gonna go catch up with James now, see how he's getting on. Oh my god, there he is! It's J. Fit. How's it going, man? Essentials. Uh, ooh, look the angles, look the pump. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my God, it's a high rock simulation. Uh, we've got to warm up a little bit first, check that heart rate up, get ourselves prepared mentally, physically. Oh, nice. Uh, you've got a good friend over here, Scott. Scott's a guest, Scott, all the way from the RAS, born and raised. Uh, born and raised in the RAF. That's the one. <laughs> the mean streets of the RAF. Exactly. Well, not even streets, isn't it? The, me the mean clouds, the mean skies. The mean skies of the well, RAF. It's actually a PT in there, so it doesn't go up in the sky very often. <laughs> uh, but, pretty fit, lad. Yeah. We're going to have a go. We're going to have a bash today. We're going to get some work done. 
he's never done a high rocks, uh, never done a simulation, but over today he's going to find out what it's all about. Wow. Nice. Get him engaged, get him on the, get him on the train, get him on board. Let's get into it. So you've signed Dixon up to Hyrox? Which Ridiculous. one? Birmingham? Birmingham, yeah. In like four weeks. <laughs> That's one. Done, done no good in the last like year. <laughs> cool, I'll sign up. Was not last night. <laughs> when you went to uh, Maggie Phil? Yeah, really. What do, you think, what do you think of Maggie Phil? Hello. Uh, the food, the food place. Oh, the food, Maggie Food. The Scouts accent blew up. Oh, it's called Maggie Food. Oh, it's called Maggie Food. Yeah. It was class. Yeah. Where have we been for foods? Oh, God! Well, not Maggie food. <laughs> Maggie food. It's pretty good. We're going, I'll leave you to uh, work out and I'll catch you later. So I'll leave James and Scott to warm up before the simulation and I'm going to finish off my mobility session on the bike. I do 20 minutes. I do steady states with some sprints mixed in as I'm watching YouTube. And yeah, remind you to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. But yeah, 20 minutes done. And what I'm going to do is catch James and Scott with their high rock simulation. So let's check in with them. That is what we call a rap. Instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Chino HD training. <laughs> <laughs>